our place to be out in the community and um, supporting our local communities with whatever it is they need at the time. Um, so transformation through community is everything Oasis is about. Um, and our current community work is focused around food insecurity um, and then drawing in other things that, that run alongside that. Um, and that's what we're doing. We're living out that desire to see people's lives transformed. The people who come to our food pantries um, can be anyone who feels that they would benefit from access to low-cost food. So we have a very rough criteria just to help people know that it's fine for them to come. We see a really wide variety of people at our two different pantries. In the city centre there are a large number of people who are working with support workers in one form or another, though that proportion is decreasing. We're seeing more and more members uh, and we're seeing people who have never needed to access support in this way before. I needed some support and um, I was going to a food bank in the middle of town and then I found out about this and this is so much better than, than what I was doing before, yeah. Some clients do find it quite anxious. Sadly, within our services, a lot of them suffer with depression and anxiety, so even to leave the house on, on a good day is, is quite tough for them. So when they come here, they're always met by, by a friendly face. Um, and, and when they do their weekly shop as well here, they, they are accompanied, they're not on their own as well. So to have that companionship as they go through the, uh, the almost the shop here, it's, it's lovely for them. It's not just going and picking up their weekly supplies. It's meeting often friends. Some of them have been here for, for weeks and months, so it's nice of them to come and see each other again. It's you know, enabling people to keep their dignity and pride and yet being able to um, you know, receive some help and support. There's a cafe now at Oasis Pantry and I think seeing everybody coming in, collecting their food, sitting down, chatting with each other and then not leaving. Chatting with each other and with volunteers is, is really uh, exactly the sort of community that, that we have here. A big part of the role of our volunteers is actually to just reassure people that it's, that it's okay to come. It's fine to be here. They are entitled to be here and, and we wish they didn't have to be, but that's through the fault of a broken system and not through anything they individually have done. There's a, a bunch of lovely people uh, and we provide a service to other lovely people. So you have a bit of opportunity with folk to have a bit of a chat about what's going on in life and anything you know that's on their mind. We talk about what food's available, recipes. It's really nice just to be a part of that, that sort of event, that sort of community. You know, the setup here is just really nice. It's all about choice giving people actually what they want and what they need, uh, making sure that fresh fruit and vegetables is a key part of it, but not trying to dictate to people what they should be eating. You know, helping all sorts of people from in all sorts of different situations. It's amazing how many, you know, you might be struggling to make ends meet for all kinds of different reasons. And I think sometimes we should take a pause just to think how close any of us can be to a situation where we might struggle like that. This is a place that people can come and feel safe and have a chat, which is what we always wanted. You know, that's really how you build relationships with people. And actually what's really great is seeing people starting to build relationships with other members, um, starting to, uh, to chat to each other and to get to know each other more. And that's really what we've always wanted. Um, again, back to transformation through community, you know, building a community that supports each other in that way is fantastic. Whatever happens, we're here for the long haul and we will change what it is we provide to meet whatever people need at the time. So while we are currently providing low cost food, that may well change in the future and we'll just respond to the needs of our community.